Today, I am going to show you how to use put HDFS processor in NiFi. Uh, in order to put a file uh, or some files in target HDFS, you need to have a HDFS or Hadoop system to be up and running. Here, in my case, I am using uh, this uh, HDFS Docker to use this. If you if you hover on this, it it have just one data node setup, and uh, we can see the file system over here and in temp I, i'm gonna place the files in temp now so i don't have any uh, files except this one file name hive uh, let's use the knife flow in order to do this so first of all drag a process group name and name it as hdfs underscore demo and then in let's uh, drill down into this process group and then pull a process as you know if you're following the series uh, or this playlist you know how to use generate flow file generate flow file let's co configure this we have to say how much file size it new generate um, i'm generating a 10 byte file and then a batch size is we can generate as one or two just make two at a time and then apply this is the only configuration that is needed you have to make a connection for the relationship success so in order to do that let's pull another process we are generating the flow file and we are putting the content of the flow file or the flow file itself into a hdfs put hdfs so so let's drag the connection of from generate flow file to here on success and then if you hover on this there are three warnings over here two are the relationship success and failure and one is the directory itself so in which directory we need to place this generate flow file so let's configure this uh, if you, these are all optional uh, my my hadoop cluster is not kerberized uh, so i'm not only the bold options here need to be filled only the directory option is need to be filled for uh, mandatory now so i'm placing that file in temp okay and uh, we are good except for the relationship let's drag the funnel here connect one funnel for success and one funnel for failure We are good with the flow now. If you start this, just refresh. If you see two flow files got generated and those are in queue, I didn't start put HDFS. If I start HDFS, I could see a bulletin here, error message. If I click on that or hover on that, you can see that could not find any Hadoop configuration resources on the class path so right now we configured the put hdfs however we don't know i mean the nifi instances or instance or instances if it's clustered doesn't know which hardware cluster you need to connect to you it know the directory value it need to be placed but it don't know which cluster it need to connect to for that we need to have configuration files of hardware in the class path or you can mention which path the configuration files are for now. Uh, let me stop this process and then configure. Uh, I already placed the configuration in temp con of the NIPA instance. Um, the required configuration files for HDFS is core site.xml. Come on. Uh, we need if you have multiple configuration files we can make it as comma separated values type it of hdfs side.xml okay temp conf core side.xml temp conf hdfs side.xml these are the two configurations that it need to interact to so that it knows where the name node is located what need what port it need to be communicate to those type kind of stuff and then apply and if you want to see this um if you turn docker ps-a 
I could see a name node instance here and the NIFI instance here, name node instance here. If I log into NIFI, Docker execute NIFI, then we slash bash. Uh -oh. Docker execute. Yeah. Um, I am into this NIFI instance right now, if you see here. And if I go to slash TMP, I already have a conf directory. I have all the site.xmls. That's the configuration I mentioned here. Let's start this put HDFS. And if you see, it's successful. I refresh. So right now, uh, uh, the generate flow file emitted eight flow files because in it ran four times, but each time it emitted two flow files. So we have eight, each of eight, 10 bytes, so 80 bytes. So all the eight flow files are received by H put HDFS. And then also it got succeeded. And we, we should see this in HDFS in after inspecting us. Let's just list the queue here. What are the successful um, file names that are uh, went through the HDFS? If you see here, D4E ending with 219, let's inspect that. We should have eight and then uh, one, uh, one among them is this one. Let's refresh this one. See, there are eight and then one among is starting with eight, four, um two one ending with two one nine yeah this one d four e ending with two four nine which is one which we inspected so this is how we uh, use put hdfs nifi processor and uh, interact with hdfs thank you i hope you got a good understanding if you like this video please subscribe to this channel